Hello, today's lesson on the Doppler effect will look at calculations on the Doppler effect. We will focus on how to identify the Doppler effect equation and will explain the meaning of each symbol used in the equation. The Doppler effect is used to calculate the frequency of the sound detected by a listener when the source moves or when the listener moves and the source is stationary. First, here is the Doppler effect equation where FL is the frequency of the listener or observer, FS is the frequency of the source, V is the velocity of the sound, VL is the velocity of the listener, and Vs is the velocity of the source. Sometimes the subscript L for listener is used and sometimes it is O for observer. Let's explain each symbol with an illustration. Now, there is a way that we can calculate the change in the frequency that is caused when either the source or the observer is moving. Let's use the example of Tabo walking down the road with his music playing. He is the source, S, of the sound waves. His friend Kristen is walking down the road behind him. Kristen is the observer, O. We will need to introduce a few variables and the symbols we use for them. We will use Vs for the velocity of the source of the waves and VO for the velocity of the observer. We will use the variable FS for the frequency of the sound waves as they leave the source and FO for the frequency of the sound waves that the observer hears. We will use the symbol V for the speed of the sound waves. It's really important that you know what each symbol stands for. Let's recap again. F subscript L is the frequency the listener hears. F subscript S is the frequency of the source of sound wave. VL represents the velocity of the listener and VS represents the velocity of the source and V stands for the velocity of the sound wave. Now that we know what each symbol in the equation represents, let us use the equation to solve problems. We will continue with Tabo's illustration and do a calculation. Let's do a calculation together using our example of Tabo and Kristen. Tabo is walking down the road with a velocity of 5 meters per second. Kristen is walking slowly behind him with a velocity of 1 meter per second. We know that the speed of sound is 340 meters per second. If a sound coming from Tabo's mini hi-fi has a frequency of 440 hertz, can you use the equation to find the frequency that Kristen will hear for the same note? Let's look at this together. The information that we are given is that Tabo's velocity is 5 meters per second. This tells us the velocity of the source, Vs. We are also given that Kristen's velocity is 1 meter per second. This tells us the velocity of the observer, VO. The speed of sound, V, is 340 meters per second, and the frequency of the sound as it leaves the source, FS, is 440 hertz. What we want to calculate is FO the frequency of the sound as it reaches the observer. If we substitute these values into the equation, we can solve for the frequency FO, and we find that it has dropped to 435 hertz. You might wonder how this equation will change if the source is moving towards the observer instead of away. In fact, the equation itself will not change. All that will change is that the velocity of the source will become negative. In the same way as for any calculation involving velocity, it is important to work out our frame of reference at the beginning of the problem and then use it to tell us whether the velocities that we need are positive or negative.
There is one special rule that we must keep in mind when finding our frame of reference for Doppler problems. The positive direction must always be the direction from the observer to the source. Let's look at a few examples to see how to apply this sign convention. Tabo walks to the left with a velocity of 5 meters per second and Kristen walks to the right towards Tabo with a velocity of 1 meter per second. Let's choose the frame of reference so that velocity toward the right is positive. We have made this choice because the line between the observer and source must always be positive. This means that any velocity toward the left is negative. We now write down the velocities of Tabo, the source, and Kristen, the observer, as Vs equals negative 5 meters per second because Tabo moves to the left, and Vo equals positive 1 because Kristen moves to the right. If we substitute these values into our equation, we will find the correct value for the observed frequency. See if you can find this frequency using the equation. Let's take a look. If we substitute these values into our equation, this time we find that the frequency FO has increased to 448 Hertz. Now, what if Tabo is walking to the left with a velocity of 5 meters per second and Kristen is also walking to the left but with a velocity of 1 meter per second in front of Tabo? Notice the line from the observer to the source is still to the right. This means that all velocities to the right are positive and all velocities to the left are negative. So Vs and Vo are both negative. If we substitute these values into our equation, we can solve for the observed frequency. See if you can find this frequency using the equation. Right, let's have a look at the equation. If we substitute these values into our equation, this time we find that the frequency Fo has still increased but is now 445 Hz instead of 448 Hz. In these examples, we have calculated the observed frequency for different situations. Did you notice from the calculations that the plus and the minus can change in the equation? This depends on the movement of the listener and the source. The positive direction is always towards the source. The velocity of the listener is positive when the listener moves towards the source and become negative when the listener moves away from the source. The velocity of the source is positive when the source moves away from the listener and negative when the source moves towards the listener. Let's see what impact these changes have on the frequency heard by the listener. When the source moves away from a stationary listener, the velocity of the source is positive and the frequency of sound heard by the listener decreases. In the example of Tabo, when we calculated the frequency of the listener as Tabo moves away, it was 434 Hz, which is less than the frequency of the source, which is 440 Hz. In the second calculation, that velocity of the source became negative when the source moves towards the listener and the frequency heard by the listener increases. In the calculations, the frequency of the sound heard by the listener is 447 Hz, which is greater than the frequency of the source which is 440 Hz. Remember, when the source of the sound is stationary and the listener moves away, the velocity of the listener is negative. When we substituted the negative velocity of the listener, the frequency of the source is 440 Hz, 
This is greater than the frequency at which the listener hears the sound, which is 439 hertz. Well, from what we have calculated, it is evident that when the source or the listener moves away, the frequency heard by the listener decreases. Therefore, the pitch of sound heard is lower. When the source or the listener moves towards each other, the frequency of the listener increases. Therefore, the pitch of sound heard is higher. With sound, that pitch and frequency are related. So as the car approaches and the frequency of the sound waves increases, we hear the siren as a higher pitch than it actually is. And when a police car is driving away from us with its siren blaring, we hear sound that has a lower pitch than the actual sound of the siren. Thank you for joining us for this lesson. Now you can do the calculations on the Doppler effect found in the task video. Also look at the Mindset website for more on the Doppler effect. See www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.